Standard 7th Subject Maths Chapter 12 Perimeter and Area Practice Set 46 Today we are going to learn a new formula which is Area of a triangle is equal to half into base into height. Dear students, you are already familiar with formula for area of a square and area of a rectangle. Now, you will solve some based on area of triangle. A triangle has got a base and a height. Its formula for area of triangle is half into base into height. So, do write down this formula in a box before you begin with your practice set number 46. Question 1. A page of a calendar is 45 cm long and 26 cm wide. What is its area? So your length and breadth is given. That means we will have to use the formula for rectangle. So area of a rectangle formula we already know. We are going to use that formula here to find the area for the page of calendar. So solution Area of page of a calendar is equal to, we are going to use the formula length into breadth, which is the formula for area of a rectangle, is equal to length is 45, breadth is 26. 45 into 26 gives us 1170 square centimeter. Therefore, the area of the page of the calendar is 1170 square centimeter. So, in this sum, we have used the formula for area of rectangle. Question 2. What is the area of a triangle with base 4.8 cm and height 3.6 cm? So, now we have to find area of a triangle. Its base and height is given. So, let us look at the solution. Area of triangle is equal to the formula half into base into height. Now we will substitute the value for base and height. Half into base is 4.8 into height is 3.6. So half into 4.8 into 3.6 gives us 17.28. 17.28 when you divide by 2 you get 8.64 square centimeter as your answer. So final statement. Therefore, the area of the triangle is 8.64 square centimeter. So, here we have used the formula for area of triangle is equal to half into base into height. Question number 3. What is the value of a rectangular plot of land 75.5 meter long and 30.5 meter broad? At the rate of rupees 1000 per square meter. So first we will have to find the area of rectangle and then multiply it with 1000 to find how much it will cost for that particular rectangular plot. So solution area of the rectangular plot is equal to length into breadth. Since it is a rectangle we write the formula for Area of rectangle is equal to length into breadth is equal to length is 75.5 meter and breadth is 30.5 meter. It is given 30.5 meter broad. So when you multiply you get the area of the rectangular plot which will be 2302.75 square meter. Now this is the area of the rectangular plot. Value of the plot will be equal to area of the plot into rate per square meter. Do we have rate per square meter given? Yes, it is 1000. So this will be the value of the plot will be equal to area of the plot which we found out 2302.75 into the rate per square meter is 1000. This is equal to 2 lakh. 30,275. Okay. So, this way we have got the answer that the value of the plot is rupees 23,2750 rupees. Okay. Here, 
वन जीरो इज मिसिंग ये दे शुड बी ट्वेंटी थ्री लैक टू थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी सो काइंडली पुट डेट जीरो इज गिवन करेक्टली बिलो द वैल्यू ऑफ द प्लॉट इज रुपीज ट्वेंटी थ्री लैक्स नॉट टू लैक्स ट्वेंटी थ्री लैक्स टू थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी हाउ डिड वी गेट इट सी इन द थाउजेंड देर आर थ्री जीरोज सो द डिसमल पॉइंट विल शिफ्ट थ्री प्लेसेस देर आर ओनली टू प्लेसेज सो वी एड अ जीरो यर and that's how you get your answer 23 lakhs 2750 okay question number 4 a rectangular hall is 12 meter long and 6 meter broad its flooring is to be made of square tiles of side 30 cm how many tiles will fit in the entire hall how many would be required if tiles of side 15 cm were used so there are two questions let us answer them one by one length of the rectangular hall is given and breadth is also given so we can find the area of the floor of the rectangular hall which is equal to length into breadth is equal to 12 into 6 72 meter square now we got the area of the floor now length of each side of the square tile used in the first case is 30 cm we have to convert it into meters since the area is in meters so 1 meter is 100 cm so 30 cm upon 100 gives us 30 upon 100 meters which is equal to point shifts to decimal places so 0.3 meter the point will shift two places so 0.3 meter is the side of square tile in the first case therefore area of that tile which is 30 cm is equal to side into side is equal to 0.3 into 0.3 we got 0.09 meter square area of tile which is having the side 0.3 meter that is 30 cm now required number of square tiles each of side 30 cm is equal to total area of floor upon area of each tile what is the total area of floor 72 meter square we have found out so 72 divided by area of each tile each tile is 0.09 72 divided by 0.09 is equal to 72 into 100 upon 9 to remove the decimal point we have taken 100 so 100 upon 9 when you calculate you get your answers 800 so 800 square tiles will be required of 30 cm to do the flooring of that rectangular hall now length of each of the square tile used in the second case is given as 15 cm so again we will convert it into meters 15 upon 100 meter is equal to 0.15 meter that means area of each tile is equal to side into side 0.15 into 0.15 gives us 0.0225 meter square now same formula we are going to use for this tile also required number of square tiles each of side 15 cm is equal to area of floor upon area of each tile area floor is same 72 area of each tile now is how much 0.0225 so how many uh, places are there for a simple point that many zeros you have to take in the numerator that means 72 into 10000 upon 225 and when you solve it you get 3200 as your answer so write down the final answer in statement question number 5 find the perimeter and area of a garden with measures as shown in the figure alongside so we need to find the measures of all sides and then we can find the perimeter and its area the boundary of the garden is made up of 12 sides each of 13 meter so if you count the boundaries how many sides you will get here you have 1 2 3 like this four sides 3 fours are 12 the boundary of the garden is made up of 12 sides each of 13 meter 
so perimeter of the garden is equal to sum of length of all sides so we multiply by 12 12 into 13 is equal to 156 meter is the perimeter once we got the perimeter now let's have a look at the sum the garden in the given figure can be divided into five squares each of side 13 meter five squares see here. one the stop one two three four and five so this way we can even find its area so area of the garden is equal to phi into area of each square part phi into side square formula for one square five into 13 square 13 square means 13 into 13 169 5 into 169 is 845 square meter therefore the perimeter and area of a garden are 156 meter and 845 square meter respectively so this way we have completed practice set 46 do practice the sums well in your book stay safe keep learning and thank you